Right, so this is a technique that I actually taught last week and it ended up happening in a fight. So I taught it because I saw last week's UFC, I can't remember which fight it was, but this scenario happened. So somebody ended up with double underhooks like this and it was controlling against the fence. And I could hear his, his corner man a lot of times, it might be cornerman up. So the corner was saying, break off and strike. Okay? Break off and strike in this scenario. So the problem is when you're in this double un double unders like this and I'm locked, if he's got double overs, it's very hard for me to break and strike like this. Like if I just try and break, I can't get my arms out. So it's a it's a it's a technique in itself being able to undo double unders and get your arms out, yeah, when you're tight like this. So what I taught last week is this. Going and we'll do it against the fence, but I'll show you here first look. When you've got double unders, if you want to break, what you do is you unlock your hands and you grab the shoulder with one hand. Okay? So I unlock, I grab the shoulder. This hand that's in now, I can start to pull my elbow out and I can start to post on his elbow like this and control. Okay? From there, I'm going to frame on his neck and now I've got that frame, now I can push with this frame and I can rip this arm out. Okay, so that's the proper technique in disengaging from this clinch. Like I say, it's very hard to just let go and strike because of that, yeah? So against the fence, I'm pinning him against the fence, look. I'm gonna go grab the shoulder here, okay? I can use my head as a bit of a wedge against the fence. Now I can pull this arm out. Block this, I can use this position to strike. Now I replace my head with my forearm and I can push my forearm into the fence and I can step back and rip this arm out and I can use that. Last week we was drilling that to set up the punch. We also did some other crazy attacks off there, jumping back kicks and shit like that, which I won't demonstrate. Uh, and then Charlie actually did it this weekend. He did that exact scenario. He got to the fence like this, hit with the frame, I think it was a knee to the body, pulled the arm out and crossed. So I saw something in the UFC, we drilled it, and a week later, Charlie pulled it off in a fight. So pretty cool. I'll try and get a video of Charlie doing it. Um, but yeah, it's an important thing to know is how to disengage. A lot of people know how to attack here, but how to disengage. So again, we've got double unders, okay? I'm going this hand to here, head in, ripping this arm out. I can frame, I can punch, forearm across the neck. Now I can pull my arm out and I can strike. And I can always do that for like an advanced level up. I can do that. I'm here, maybe I'm struggling to take him down. Can't get him down from this scenario. So look, I frame, I pull the arm out, I punch, then I level change. And that might set up my secondary takedown. So if I can't take him down from here, I can always frame, punch, reset and shoot get the take now. So that's a little bit of a advanced uh, cage wrestling. Some little ideas you can do. Um, try it. Real good use of the head here from Gethin. Keeping that head low. Good reversal there by Charlie. Lovely knee. That was a really hard knee. Oh, big thanks for tuning in that's today's video that is going to be part of a cage wrestling series i'm going to be releasing on my website soon with all the attacks and stuff off the cage um so check that out that will be at dannymitchellmma.com uh, if you like the video please like please subscribe leave a comment below and i'll see you next time